Hello everyone and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. In the last session, we spent a lot of time in the base, catching up with everyone and talking to Gaia, learned that a new signal has been received potentially from Eleuthia, but potentially not. And uh, we are coming to check it out with Val and Erend. We arrived here and one of the far zenith lot was here, getting killed. There is a way to break their shields. So, very interesting stuff. Let's see where it goes. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating, it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Does that uh, mean it was the rebels that sent the if signal to draw up. the zenith lot? And we also happened to intercept it? For something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Val. I mean, it would make sense if it was. I think. But it might not be. I can get a Hello. mustache later. Stalker dart gun. Are we about to get into a fight? Like, why is this here? Should I bring this with me? You walk so slow with it, but... If they're putting it there, I feel like there's going to be a fight. Although... Are we even going to be able to take it in here? It's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. Oh boy. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is. But my guess is it's somewhere down there. Alright, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. I wonder how many Zeniths made the trip back to Earth. It's potentially like hundreds or even thousands. Because, like, the tech has developed so much in the thousands of years that they have had to progress whilst we were reset to zero. They got to progress a thousand years or however, I can't remember the exact amount of years it's been, but they got to progress a very long time from the starting point of where humanity was at when everything went to hell, whereas we got reset. So, like, and obviously they figured out a way to make the trip back. They figured out this, like, invincibility shields and everything. They could have easily figured out how to make a spaceship that carries, you know, thousands of people back to Earth. So, it is a bit of a worry. <laughs> We've only seen a few so far, but it could very well be just an absolutely enormous amount of people that we are going to be fighting. World ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah. Yee. From the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. I think it's more likely because the, re the rebels were here first. I don't know. Wait, did something just... I thought I just saw something pop up. Maybe not. Nothing back here. Nothing back here. Okie doke, just had to check. Oh, it feels good to be back on main story, man. 
actually getting reveals and interesting plot and stuff. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Hello. Uh, storage units access, data transfer initiated, operation suspended, fusion reactor on standby, download initiate, beam cast initiate. Hmm. Hmm. That's a transmitter. Damaged beyond repair, eh? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. I mean, that's very far zenith. <laughs> Looks like it's self destructive. That is, that is incredibly far zenith looking. Zenith Research Lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Hmm. But then why were the Zenith still searching for the asset? Let's keep looking around. Just keep searching, just keep searching, just keep searching, searching, so, searching. Exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. <laughs> Yet. Or anything you can blow up. Something burrowed in here. I ain't ruling out the fact that we might get fucking killed at any moment. Uh, which way are we going? Up or down? Down seems to be leading to a new area, so let's try it up first. That might just be that balcony. Anything worth noting up here? Oh wait, is this? God damn it! This is leading somewhere else as well. <laughs> no. Actogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What were they for? This keeps on going. Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Yeah. Spoon fed from Daniel McGill to Claire Newen. Uh, Claire, wish you'd been on the call with me with Zero Dawn. Whoever negotiated this deal with them was ingenious. A bunch of our old tech collecting dust in storage in exchange for a copy of all human knowledge. Talk about a bargain. And the guy ha heading up the Eleuthia subfunction, Patrick Brochard Klein, you could practically see sparkles in his eyes when he was bombarding us with follow-up questions on the ectogenic chamber's design. It was like we were waving catnip in front of him. Anyway, they're requesting additional material on nutrition delivery. Higher-ups gave the go-ahead, so send over everything we have. Brochard Klein will probably pee his pants in glee. <laughs> Can't go through here. Okay, can we like jump through this? Like, this place is yep, huge. Okay. <laughs> Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So maybe down was the other so, way. <laughs> um, how is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dawn and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. He is. Do they both lead to the same place? Like, oh god, this is an even further drop down? Wait, is this... Okay, this is... We can come back up. That's fine. Um, I just don't want to... I want to have not missed whatever the fuck was the other way. Priority shift from Song Zhao to uh, Far Zenith research staff. As you will undoubtedly have heard by now, we have lost the brightest star among us. Research on ectogenesis for the Odyssey was near and dear to Peter, 
and on behalf of the new High Council I commend you for all your efforts and the great strides made over the last several years. Yet as we mourn our founder, we must also keep our gaze on the bright future ahead. To that end we'll be shifting project priorities. Over the coming days you'll be briefed on exciting developments in longevity research from our Tokyo and Lagos facilities, with new assignments to follow. In the meantime, all ectogenic chambers should be moved to storage. Refer to your leads with any questions. Huh. So they were researching a lot about the ectogenic chambers. They gave that shit to the Zero Dawn project, and then they shifted priorities when the founder died. It must have been something the founder was wanting. Uh, and then he died, and they changed it to longevity research. So I wonder if that is... I wonder if the Far Zenith people that we're talking to were all like hundreds and hundreds of years old or something. Well, actually, yeah, because, yeah, 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 because, um, Tilda, like, I mean, it might not be her, it might be a recreation of her, like how Aloy is a recreation of Elizabeth. But it could also just straight up be her, right? If they did this longevity research. Because uh, Tilda was up top in the Far Zenith project, and that was absolutely her voice that the woman was uh, speaking with. Uh, progress report. Data corrupted has seen a significant improvement, decreasing the time between touch-ups that commercially available treatments like Osmanthus's Rejuve gene require. As for Malik's team, the latest results from their neurophysiology experiments seem promising, and with the supplementary data provided by our Tokyo facility, we seem to be closing in on functional first-generation implants. Meanwhile, our friends in Zurich have sent over their findings on WBE. Mixed results, a couple of promising avenues, but anything bordering on real digital transcendence looks to be decades away, if not... Hmm. Digital transcendence to me is saying, like, transferring your consciousness into a machine, and a machine is going to live forever kind of thing. Interesting, interesting. I really hope I'm not going the right way. <laughs> I'm making every effort to go the wrong way and do all the exploring I can. Wait, did I just circle around? I don't think so. Oh, I just got turned around. This was a dead end. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. So, what's this way? Oh, is this? This is where we came from, right? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. That's that's what I was hoping. That's what I was hoping. Just two paths to the same point. Can I do anything with this? No. Boom. Bing. Gimme. I'm sure I saw a purple thing the somewhere around console. there. To access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Oh, well, let's find out. Let's do everything else before that. <laughs> Could have sworn I saw another, like, scannable thing. Maybe I was just seeing a grapple point or something? Because I ain't seeing it now. Oh, wait, up there? Oh, wait, that's the... That's the spoon-fed one. What was that? 
ancient supply safe. Oh, maybe that's what I saw. All right, let's just hit the button then. Two hundred and thirty-six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Two hundred and thirty-six. Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Out of curiosity, what happens if you type in something else? Like 001. Maybe this one. Nothing. Huh. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. I'm trying to think if there's any, um... Oh, what's the, what's the fucking... I bet, I guarantee you, there are some numbers, aside from the, the one that we need to check in the log, I guarantee you there are some numbers which will retrieve something that actually has something in it. As an, as an Easter egg kind of thing, like... I'm trying to think, what's that one number? Uh... What's the number that every... Oh, 451. I mean, there isn't 451 containers, so I guess that won't do anything, but... Error. Container limit exceeded. Okay, never mind. Okay. Never mind. It's just uh, a lot of... A lot of uh, games will put 451 or 0451 in uh, as a code to something. It's always worth trying. For, like, whatever, whatever, is, whatever code is needed for. Um, what is it in? Data points? Shit. Where the fuck would it be? <laughs> I don't know where it would be. Oh, God. Quests, I guess? Spoon-fed, priority shift. Two, wait. 237? Didn't it say there's only 236? 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Out of curiosity, what happens if I do 236? How about this? So there's one more than the number it says there is? Empty again. 236 containers in storage. Oh shit, what? Hello? Is that us? Oh shit! Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Now, she looks like Beta. Must have cut this from her head. But why? But is she Beta, or are there lots of Betas? Hello, hello, Miss Fit. Uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Aluthia, Artemis, and Apollo now. Ah. But at least they don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. So it is the beta that we saw. She's, she's still alive. We need to get her back to. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you 
hear me through this thing? What's going on, Aaron? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. Oh god, we're gonna have one to fight them. Heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. <laughs> Fucking impressive oh, work by her. That she managed to give him the slip. That's crazy. Prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. Prepare for battle. Okay. Uh. Blast traps, I guess. Wait, no, I just want you to place. Here it comes! Oh fuck, that fast? Oh god. Over here, mate. Come on, come on, over here. Ooh, ugly one, are you? Okay. See if it has any weak spots. Oh yeah, good fucking idea. Wait, not that kind of scan. Wait, did my trap on the stairs not get placed properly? That thing's cool. Oh god, what's it? Oh my goodness, that's scary. That was very scary that it could just yeet itself up there. I tried. Okay. What the fuck was that? The best time to shoot it is when it's trying to shoot me, it seems like. Ow. Oh wait, no. I thought I had to I thought I had to shoot those bits when they were ready to fire, but I guess those bits on the side work too. Although that time it didn't seem to do anything. It's limping. Huh. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Are you okay, Aloy? Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Probably should worry about this gold shit. <laughs> Little bit. Get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. I mean, will he? <laughs> I'd like to think he'll stay in cover, but he also might be really dumb. Hey, Lloyd. Ah. Aaron. Yeah, the specter's dug its heels in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. I'm hurrying. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. That does not sound good. It's so bright. Aaron, it's so bright. Watch out. Oh, here's the. Ready to get fucked. Oh my god, what is it doing though? I'm there. Not 
Miss. I don't have any plasma, mate. Would sure love to have some. I have never found a plasma thing. Trying to hit the fucking bit, the weak spot, but it's very, very protected. Boy, did you pick the wrong fight. And now's a good time to hit it with plasma. Yeah, I'd love to, mate. If I had a single plasma weapon, I have fucking looked for one for the entire game and never found one. Very irritating that they just make him constantly shout about use plasma and not give you a plasma uh, weapon. Aloy, hey she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Holy shit, we're actually gonna have two Aloys on side. I was wondering if that would happen, but I would like didn't really I think it would. Thing works. Maybe Can't remember if I talked so about it. After all. I was wondering if uh if they'd want to introduce a second Aloy or whether that would be like too confusing. And uh if they did introduce second Aloy, like, as part of our team, whether they'd Maybe kill her off then to preserve, like, our Aloy as being the main Aloy. Because <laughs> it's just, like, if you introduce a second Aloy that are both based on the same person, then, like, you then run into questions of, like, okay, why isn't other Aloy coming with regular Aloy on every mission? Because, like, two's better than one and you're literally the same person, so. But I guess differences in how they've been raised etc i guess other aloy wouldn't be the fighter that this one is so i suppose it makes sense no damn it well it's better than nothing <laughs> whatever that is those rebel sure as shit did not make it no chance. No chance. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. Oh, if we just teleport straight back here. Nice. Maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Has anybody seen one of my machines strike? Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now. Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. You don't even want to know what I he's thinking so about, Aloy. Okay, but I'm trying. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. What are you reading next? I saw Gaia added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy yeah, reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in Stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. Sounds like a bit of an idiot. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. 
But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. Cool, cool. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Never. I would never cause trouble. That's not me. Aloy, you're back. Yeah, I'm just, uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. Well, she looks like a techie kind of person. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. <laughs> yep. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Indeedy. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. Hope so, because I, I fucking hate going. Stormbirds. May the land bloom in your steps. Stormbirds hey, can all there are more supplies go in the chest. fuck off. <laughs> Help yourself. Cheers. Uh, nothing new in here. Right, they said they were downstairs, right? Uh, where's where's downstairs? Wait. Oh, Looks wait, like this is this dude. Are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful warm-up. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's related to you. Sort of. Um, she's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be as as fighty as we are. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. Okay, that was identical to the last time. But it was lit up again, so that's frustrating. Because it was lit up to show that it has more to say, but it didn't have any more to say. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is. They better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. 
How many did the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not. I imagine they can probably the make as many as they like. I'm with you there. Getting Ether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. <laughs> That's weird. This has an exclamation point on it, but there's nothing new. I need to go. On your way then. Very strange. Right, let's go talk to ourselves.